Now, if we step further uh, over here, in this area, I would intend to have uh, Adita here at the entrance. Uh, maybe I'll make it a bouncer or something. Uh, and this data would uh, provide the user with the knowledge necessary to cam to the dance ball, even though we've got, you can see all those flashing prims that are in the way. Uh, so the student would learn how to not only select the dance, but also how to navigate uh, within those prims um, and understand that maybe they're just clicking on a, a separate prim and they're not clicking on the object that they're trying to get to and learn to use transparencies. Now at the bar, um, there is right now just a fill-in bartender. I'm gonna change her out uh, with Adita. And in front of her is a uh, plank from the Seda Farm script. This actually will give you a HUD. And when you wear the HUD, it then keeps track of consumption over time of drinks and foods uh, and not all drinks and foods actually are nutritious and that is built in to the process uh, but while a person is wearing a HUD over time their nutrition value is decreasing so they do have to periodically eat and drink to replenish their avatar's health so this is a way to teach new users how a HUD works in a fun manner And you feel free to get a HUD if you want. Uh, once you are wearing the HUD, you would click that again uh, to get a drink. And there are both alcoholic and non-alcoholic options. I remember when I first started in virtual worlds and people talked about a HUD, I had no clue what a HUD was. It, it made no sense to me that they were telling, trying to tell me what the HUD was. This allows people to actually learn what the HUD is and how to use it. And then the, the fourth or, or the eighth data uh, would be just to the left of this place where we have a lifeguard stand. Uh, 